What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo. And today we have the reset of the Alexandrite event, which means that one of the teams is going to need green characters to have the type advantage. The other team is going to be red, which we've already talked about. Now, this is the team that I set up for you guys as far as what's on my free-to-play account. Now, I'm not going to be using this team probably more than likely on this account because I do have Taki. And even though she doesn't have an advantage or a disadvantage, I could still use her and use that Limitless to stall the timer and hopefully do a lot more more damage. I will be testing that uh, in, in the future, but I wanted to show you guys a little bit more free-to-play run with characters that you could have leveled up throughout the game, especially if you've been playing this game for some time. Now, we do have K, who is an SS character. He does have Burn Explosion. He can remove it, but guys, I mean, I just look at my build, right? There's no imprint stones on this character whatsoever. I'm running a, you know, Akane set with two cooldown cards, and that's it. Like, it's not like he's leveled up or jacked up. He doesn't even have any capsules on on him, right? And then Mizey here is just at level 10, no capsules. Uh, I'm just running this little Serena set on her, right? Obviously, she just got one stone. And then we have Bison, another character that you could have leveled up if you've been playing it. I mean, this is a character that's been in this game for over a year. No imprint stones whatsoever, guys. We're just using an Akane, not even a leveled up Akane set, and no 3PG, right? This is not a strong team. This is not a super, super OP team. And then for the second team, we have some pretty old characters other than Shane, but he's only level 90. And guys, Shane is going to be freaking godly in this because he has burn and chill built into his kit. Them dots are ridiculous on that character. So, I like on my main account, I got that character at A5. I'm going to be pretty much destroying with him. It's going to be pretty wild to watch. But Warang here is actually really good because one, he has a good little leadership, but also, guys, his second skill gives chill. That is nice. That is really damn nice that it does that for 10 seconds, and it doesn't remove it. He doesn't have explosion. So as long as you hit that second skill, you can keep applying chill to your opponent. In fact, in hindsight, I think I played this wrong because I was actually originally thinking that the first skill had chill, but it doesn't. It's actually on a second skill. But... You know, he, I'm running the Tekken set on him, right? And this is a free-to-play account, and I do have four stones on this character. Now, this character, whenever he's at A5, guys, you can actually unlock Concentrate, which actually resets his first skill over and over and over. And as long as you apply the chill from the second skill and get that high armor from the second skill, you can use this Concentrate quite r well in this game mode. He actually can do pretty damn well, like... Not bad. I was pretty impressed with old Warang. And then old Mary. Mary. Marie is a old character. I mean, she's been in this game for a long time. And, you know, you can use her as well to get it done. Now, there's other options. She doesn't even have capsules, guys. I mean, look at her build. She doesn't have capsules. She doesn't have it. She's got one stone on her. And I'm just running. I'm running the Guilty Gear set, an old set that was available in the game. Right? It's not like I have these optimal builds on these characters. You might be surprised by how much damage they can actually do. They can they can get it done quite well. So I'll bring up the run for you guys. You can check it out, right? You can see there's the team. And I'll show you what I did here. <clears throat> so, excuse me, there's a little phlegm in my throat. Always in the morning, man, with the phlegm. But, uh, you know... K might not be the best choice, guys, in all honesty, because he does have Dot Explosion, but he was the best choice that I had available on this account, all right, as far as reds. But I'm going to be using Bison because he's actually at A5, and this is a character that could have been A7 if I would have just been working on him and leveling up, and we would have done even better with him. And the truth is, if I would have put a Zhang Fei card, maybe that would have been good, but I got Mai in there, and Mai applies Burn and Chill, so I'm just kind of relying on her to apply it. But really, maybe if I would have done that, it would have been better. But Bison isn't likely on it. He doesn't have a CDR core or cooldown reduction core. So I thought maybe it was best to go with this. But it, it might be better if you had a Zhang Fei card on him with, like, say, a Mad Tea Party set to proc that card more often. But, uh, I mean, you know, it's nothing spectacular, guys. The damage isn't ridiculous. But, again, I don't have any stones on Bison. I don't have these characters really that well built. And I am using the weekend from Bison. That's another thing about him. Just like Leona, you get that increased target damage by 30% whenever you hit the weekend. So, I am using his weekend to buff up all the other characters as well. But, I mean, you know, look. I mean, 12 billion or 12.5 billion. Right? I mean, that that's your dailies right there. And remember, we need, you know, 28.5 billion, 29 billion to make on a daily basis to make sure we get the EX memory. And by the way, guys, on this account, I did get my EX memory already. It was a purple, by the way, just to let you know. But while running here... It's actually pretty damn good here, guys. And again, Shane is going to be godly, guys. He's going to be ridiculous. Right? So I'll hit my second skill, right? 
whenever the concentrate is ready to go. Right now, I do use his third skill to switch and throw a little shock because he will do a lot of damage if you do that, but you just really want to apply as much chill as possible, guys. I mean, that's that's kind of the thing. And I might not have been playing him oddly uh, in, in hindsight as far as, you know, the way that I'm using him because I, I switched between the first, and the, the first skill a few times and maybe it would have been better if I would just stayed and instead of using the alternate, maybe it would have been better just to just keep the first six skill the way they are. But, you know, I just kind of winged it. And look at the damage, guys. Look at the damage. Right? I mean, 38, 38 billion. Right? That is nice. And if you have the tech set, it can proc that PG gain to where you can do your 3 PG like what I'm doing right now to stall the timer and do a lot more damage. Right? I mean, look at that. 41 billion. Right? No OP-ness, no ridiculousness. Free to play account, guys, with a fame system of level 10. I mean, that's that's pretty awesome. I really kind of wanted to do something else here. So when it comes to your greens, guys, Haramaru is going to be the best. He's going to be godly in this because he has limitless. Uh, he's pretty much going to be the best character in this thing. Like, he's going to be really, really strong. And, you know, your SS and BS characters, I mean, it's kind of wacky, but when it comes to SS for green, there really aren't a lot of options. <laughs> there really aren't a lot of options for her, which is kind of funny. Yuri, guys, Yuri, she does have die explosion on her default, but she's not going to do her default when she's playing in here in auto, guys. She's going to be applying a bunch of burn. Yuri is actually going to be really good, especially with her leadership, guys. I mean, this goes up to 45%. This is a very, very good leadership. So Yuri will be actually be very, very strong in this because she is an SS. She does apply burn. And I believe, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's only on her default. Pretty sure it's only on our default. I can't remember exactly. Right? Oh, maybe it's not. No, it's on her third skill. So she does remove it. So that kind of sucks. But you could still use her just like what I used uh, K in the first run. I mean, they do help because they still do apply the relevant dot to do more damage. But 41 billion is a pretty damn good score considering the team that I'm using. So hopefully this will help some of you out out there as far as, you know, trying to get the scores so you can get that EX generic memory, uh, especially regarding your green team. I'm definitely going to make some more videos regarding this, probably more OP teams on my main account. But I wanted to start off the reset of the Alexandrite event with a free-to-play setup. I know a lot of you newer players, you're not going to have Warang. You're not going to have uh, Marie. You're not going to have Bison, right? You're just going to have to make do with what you got. And if you already have characters with Limitless, like Leona, uh, Taki, uh, Mina, guys, Mina right here, she's going to be really, really good because she's a red. She has a type van. She can stall that timer. So if you have any of those characters and you have their Limitless unlocked, they're going to be godly in this thing, guys. I mean, just like we've shown in previous videos, but let me know how you're all doing in the game. Let me know how well you're doing in the Alexander Adventist especially since it turned to the green. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. DDO plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody. Take care.